Hey everybody, I am Kina Craves and I am back with another video for y'all today. <laughs> y'all already know those regulars. If this is your very first time here, go ahead and hit that like button. Click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And hey everybody, how everybody doing? Is everybody doing okay? Well, I am. And now y'all, y'all hungry? I am. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> y'all y'all i have quite a chinese feast for y'all so i have bourbon chicken i have shrimp fried rice i have so i wanted some broccoli just plain broccoli i have beef lo mein and i got three egg rolls here i think this is some extra bourbon sauce all right, y'all, we're going to say our grace and then we're going to go ahead and eat a little something, okay? All right. Oh, Amen. I'm going to take this down so this juice won't get everywhere, y'all. It got some juice up there. Oh, yeah. And I'm doing cran grape again. This one opened right on up for me, y'all. And yesterday, I think that um, cran grape was filled with Gorilla Glue. I could not open it. Shoot. They gave me some white rice too, but I already got the shrimp fried rice. I might take, you know, some for my lunch tomorrow. I'm so ready. I do want to open this though. I just want to see if it's bourbon. I guess. <laughs> it's something. Because bourbon usually is sweet, huh? I don't know what to do. But I know what it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. That ain't bad though. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna open it. It, it probably is bourbon. Ladies, I have a question. And don't fight me, because I know how you girls like to tussle. But this some soy sauce y'all put on this. It's like I kind of sort of want to put a little bit of this on my rice. Y'all, when I was young, so I had to be really, really tough when I was young. I never cried. Unless I was mad. Never cried. I remember crying at my grandma's funeral. I remember crying one time with my mama. Tried to come and get us to go back home with her. And my grandma didn't let us go. But other than that, y'all, I never cried. We got taken from my mom. When I was seven years old. And we got placed in the house with my great grandmama. And she was super old. 
I need some shrimp egg right now. So because she's old, and even when before when I live, when we live with my mama. I'm going to clean the bathroom and go to this. Huh? I'm going to clean the bathroom and go to this. All right. I finished my hair. I'm going to show you when I get back. So, when, um, even when we lived with my mama, we had some issues, okay? You know, I will get into her story a little later, but, mmm, this is good. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's just going to end wrong. But, I was raised down my sisters and brothers when I lived with my mama, too. She used to leave us alone a lot. So, I don't know how to cook for them. Like, I've, I've been making French toast since I was five. Standing up in a chair. Over the stove. Cooking it. Mm -hmm. My mama taught me. So when she wasn't there, I used to, you know, take care of my siblings. So when we moved with my grandmama, I still took care of them. They didn't know them. They were too young. And I didn't know them that well either. So I used to always, if, if they wanted something to eat, they would come tell me. If they wanted anything, they would come tell me all the time. So I had to be really tough. Because I had no time to be soft and cry. Because I had to take care of them. But now, y'all, I was never cry, baby. I'm serious, never. I cried when I was mad. And when I cried, I fought. So I fought a lot. Because I was so tough. But now, baby, you hurt my feelings, I'm going to cry. All the time. <laughs> I cry all the time. <laughs> um, some women told me after you have children, you become, you know, your hormones get to going on crazy. Can y'all see those feasts? I don't want to waste juice on my carpet. But yeah, y'all. Um, a lot of women told me that they got emotional. They became more emotional after they had children. I feel like that is the truth. Not every time we turn around. I can't hold a conversation about crying. But I tell you what. If I cry about that situation. I'm done with it. <laughs> I will say that. If you make me cry now. It's over. 
But I'll never fool with you no more. Now, I don't cry in front of these people because you can't show your, your south side. I cry in my little closet. <laughs> in my car. In the bathroom. But you will never get a chance to make me cry again, baby. For real. I didn't cry when I was supposed to cry. So I can't let you make me cry and get away with it. No. It don't work like that. I I no longer know who you are now. This is how it works for me. <laughs> so ladies, in the comments, are y'all emotional? Are y'all some crybabies? Y'all listen. I'm going to tell you how I knew I was a crybaby. I have an uncle, and this was in um, 2002, and I know it was in 2002 because when I found out I was pregnant with my daughter, that's the same year 9-11 happened. I had just found out I was pregnant with her in like April. So we went to war that year, right? Afghanistan, all that stuff. Well, this right here. Rather, this don't have no cheese on it. Rather tight. But this broccoli is for you, girl. Mm hmm. But my uncle. He retired from the military, y'all. But he's been in the military all his life. He didn't retire. He was in the 50s. He's been in the military all of his life. And one day, I was, um, At a temp service, applied for a job, no lie, in 2002. And the temp service had a salute. They had a post, or they had a, a bulletin. They had a bulletin. On the bulletin, they had salute. They were saluting troops that was getting shipped off to Afghanistan, Pakistan, you know, Saudi Arabia. Stuff like that. They didn't have his name up there. But baby, when I got in that car, I was crying. So bad because he had got deployed. I was just, oh my God. And my uncle and I have a close relationship. But I've never just thought about stuff. And that's, that's what I'm saying. I never just thought about stuff. And it just made me cry, like personal experiences. And I've been through the ringer. Like, you never know what nobody's going through. Never, ever, 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 ever. But baby, that's when I knew I was an emotional wreck. I couldn't get myself together for nothing. I was in there for a job. I had to go back to the car. I was just crying so bad. And I've never been a cry baby ever. When I used to get a whooping, I wouldn't cry. You had to beat me down. You had to beat me down in order to get me to cry. I would never cry, baby. I also remember crying. I do remember another time. When I was in the fifth grade, my daddy 
got sentenced to 20 years in prison. So then you could go to the jail where they were being held at before they got shipped off and go see them. And so my cousin, my older cousin, this should have been a story time. And then maybe a year later, or it could be now, I don't know. <laughs> but my cousin took me to the jail to say farewell to my daddy. I was a daddy's girl. I was, what, 11 in the, in the fifth grade? Ty J is 13 in the seventh grade. Yeah, I was 11. And y'all, I didn't cry in. He was crying. He, I, I, was, I didn't even cry. I was so hurt. So on the way home, I was sorry. So we was about to get ready to turn into our driveway. Look at me, let me get my composure. Whew. We was getting ready to turn into our driveway. And my cousin, she was in high school at the time. I told you my, my grandma had a house full of orphans, really. Everybody who had to stay with her because our parents couldn't couldn't um care for us one for some reason or another. So my cousin said, Kena, are you okay? And I just broke down crying. And I did not want to go in the house crying because I didn't want my siblings to see me cry. I've been tough, I'm telling you. And I want to remain tough. But that was it. But now, baby, I watch Law and Order. I'm crying. Like, listen, if you watch Power, y'all were raining. <laughs> if you watch Power, 50 Cent's Power with Ghost and Tasha and Tyreek and all them, where the first, the first Power, where Raina died, y'all should have seen me, baby. Y'all cry so bad. I couldn't even help it. I couldn't help it. Mm. This is so good, y'all. They did a good job on this duck, huh? Y'all know that I'm chicken. Y'all know this duck. But did y'all come more emotional when y'all had a kid? I know I gave y'all a couple short story times on that. But I had to tell you the background of why I wasn't real emotional. And like, I never used to watch romance movies. Never. One of my best friends, Denise, always used to try to get me to watch Steel Magnolias. And I let her tell me about it. And when she told me she was crying, no, I ain't been watching. I never watched Steel Magnolias. No. No, can't do. If the movie don't make me laugh, if it ain't got a lot of action in it, like I love all action movies. Bad Boy, um, Man on Fire, Equalizer, um, anything with old school Van Damme, Steven Seagal. I don't watch romance movies. I really have to be tricked to watch them. And they be good. And I say that they're not because I love Love Jones. I watch Love Jones and did not know. And Long Kiss Goodnight is my, one of my favorite movies. It's not a romance movie. It's an action movie. I just want to put that in there. But um, Love Jones is one of my favorite movies. I fell in love with the city of Chicago watching Love Jones before all the gangster stuff. I used to always want to go to the Wild Hair, that club that they was in in Chicago. Because I went to college with a guy from Chicago, and he said that Wild Hair really was a club. Really was a club. Um, I want to learn how to step. So I have watched romance movies. Dirty Dancing, another one of my favorite movies. And it's a, a romance movie, but I also had action in it. But, baby, if you're telling me that I'm fit Titanic, crying like a baby... Titanic, cry like a baby. Do you understand me? Yeah, here, there's nothing out there. 
Mister. Titanic had me crying like a baby. And it was 24 hours long. Child, I'm out there in that water with them people. I was crying too. But yeah, that, that's why, because I, you know, I just never want to cry. Crying give me a headache. It makes me so sick. And when I start crying, I don't be crying just about the situation that's going on now, y'all. I be crying about a lifetime full of shit. I know. Don't laugh. <laughs> you can. Let me know if you can relate. And I know I didn't sound like Celine Dion, but I love Celine Dion. That was my favorite movie. What? Did y'all see her on the awards when she sung that song? Celine Dion is a diva, just like Patty, Whitney, Beyonce. I love Celine Dion. And I know that my heart will go on. Oh, that song was so pretty. We saw that in um in high school. Um, we learned that we sang that song. Um, I think it was a graduation or something. Anyway. I'm going to learn how to make broccoli just like the Chinese play. It's so crunchy. I don't like soggy broccoli, y'all. I like it just like this. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Babe, this whole platter going in the refrigerator. This ain't going away. I did that. It looked like a mess now, y'all, but it was pretty. And I had them up. Delicious. Y'all, The draft is on right now. So I'm about to go ahead and watch the draft. See what's going on. See what my team gonna get. And another thing too, y'all. So y'all, if... Y'all mention me. A lot of times, I don't see it. I'm sorry. Because I really see it from... Because a lot of times, I'm checking my stuff from my cell phone. And I don't even need to be on my computer to see it. I'm trying to figure stuff out, okay? I don't know everything, y'all. So, please don't get offended. Like, if you do mention me and I don't see it, I'm not ignoring you, but just like, um, come in or something and let me know y'all seen it. Like, you know, on a, on a, on a status, if y'all mention me or something, sometimes if you know that I ain't seen it. Y'all, I work a full-time job. I do. I have a full-time job and a full-time family and another business on the side. You, I try to make YouTube my first priority, but sometimes... And even if I go a couple of days without answering a comment or something like that, y'all, I'm going to still get to it because I don't want to do nobody like that. I, I don't want nobody to feel like they're being ignored. It's okay, y'all. So just charge it. Don't don't charge it to my head, my heart now. I'm going to get to it. And I might get to them all in one day because a lot of times, you know, I work from any, anywhere from I go in at 7 and I can get off anywhere between 3.30 or 7. That's the type of job I got. I can work eight hours or I can work 12. I won't know until I get there. 
that's just how it works. So if I get off at seven, when I come home, get what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to bed. Come be tired. But if I get up at 3 30, when I come home, I'm probably gonna cook me a meal. I'm gonna do me a mukbang. I'm gonna answer comments on the computer. You know, I'm gonna get right to it. So I wanna thank y'all so much, y'all. I've not had not had a real long video in a while. But I just felt like chatting with y'all, just you know, opening up, being more transparent, letting y'all know who I really am. Um, stay crispy and crunchy, my cravings, y'all. We're not gonna be pr procrastinating this year because we ain't gonna do it. It don't make us feel good, and we want to feel good all year long. And don't worry about what people have to say because the ones that matter, they don't mind, and the ones that mind, they don't matter, y'all. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. If y'all watch me constantly, hit the subscribe button. And if you get a channel, I subscribe back. I don't mind. It's free. I subscribe back, huh? Now, if you got all the fans, I probably can't pay for it right now. You know what I'm saying? Because these pockets are a little thin. But if you got a YouTube and I can hit that button for free, baby, I got your back till you get back. That's what my daddy used to say. I got your back till you get back, honey. I got you. Keep telling a friend and tell a friend that we be over here getting it in. And bye, y'all. Good night.